Hello everybody, we are here for uh, the course on uh, dynamics and control and uh, in particular in the module 1 systems and signals examples in the course that is presented by Pedro Albertos myself from the Polytechnical University of Valencia in Spain. Uh, today we are going to uh, present some examples of uh, artificial systems. In this uh, module, number one, it was uh, examples of systems and signals. We saw before uh, systems in nature and today we are um, dealing with uh, human-made systems. <coughs> so the systems made by humans are, could be very simple like uh, an electric circuit or uh, a watch or a mobile phone, but uh, they could be also very complex, like uh, controlling a, an aircraft. You see here the aircraft uh, cockpit, and you can see how many instruments and how much information the pilot should uh, consider to act and to maneuver over the aircraft. If we, we consider an offshore platform, still we realize that there are many subsystems, many components and all of them should be coordinated, controlled and to keep balance the platform, to move the platform, to make some changes in the orientation and so on. So a lot of information is uh, available and a lot of uh, actions are implemented. So let's go to some other examples, more probably more simple, not simple, but more uh, precisely. For instance, if we consider a factory for tiles production, uh, in this factory we can see that there are many sub-processes, starting from the um, park where the raw materials are stored, like uh, clay, lime, and these are in small rocks, then they have a pre green grinding and they are stored in some uh, dosage system to be forwarded to the mill where we get the powder and this powder should be clean and we put some water and later on this powder should be dried and we have the spray uh, powder uh, to, to dry the, the powder. Then once the powder is dried, we put into the press, we make the raw uh, tiles, we dry again the tiles when they are made, and we put over them the glazing with the different materials, and again we storage these uh, pre prepared tiles to be introduced in the kiln, and in the kiln is uh, probably the most uh, complicated process because we are going to uh, apply the heat uh, and the tiles will suffer a transformation, a, a cooking, and finally the tiles will be produced and uh, a quality control should be performed to determine which are good, which are not so good, and, and so on. So which kind of signals we can um, consider here? Many signals, the pressures, the mm, size of the particles, the humidity, the temperature, all these uh, variables are involved in the plant and we should consider. But also some others which are not so simple to measure, like uh, the quality of the tile. And this should be the strength, the color, the size and so on. <coughs> So to manufacture quality tiles, you need, of course, uh, quality raw materials and excellent uh, product design. And you need also to have uh, appropriate units for the production, mills, press, kill, dryers, and so on. And you need uh, expert uh, operators dealing with all these uh, units. But you also require not only this infrastructure, but also control elements and control algorithms. Integrated information about all the shop floor, because what is happening in the kiln 
depends on what happened before in the dryer or in the press or in the mill. You need at the end uh, control of the quality of the production and all together you need automatic process uh, uh, management. If we consider now something which is more familiar, an automatic uh, car uh, washing plant, you see here that when we enter in this plant, we just put the token in the, at the entrance and then everything runs uh, automatically. And there are many variables. The information is mainly binary, on off. We are stopped, we are moving, the water is flowing, the water is cut, the dryer are on or off, the bells are moving or stop. So there are many variables here, but all these variables are uh, it's with simple operations, just uh, connecting, disconnecting. <clears throat> And to know what is happening, where the car is, if it's uh, already uh, washed or not, is fundamental. So feedback is uh, very important to, at the end, get a clean uh, car. <coughs> so the signals here, as I mentioned, are very simple and they are, most of them, binary signals. If we consider another example, is. Uh, a system for tracking the stars or the planets, uh, sky bodies in general, and we have multiple antennas. For that, we need a lot of infrastructure, and there are many experts involved in this. We need powerful uh, antennas, we need precise communication between them, uh, we need to uh, position these antennas in the exact uh, position and we need uh, facilities to carry out complex uh, computations because the signals we are getting are not very clean so we need to filter, to um, uh, update and, and so on. <clears throat> but we also require a precise mechanism to move the antennas. We need measuring and actuating devices. Uh, we also require to have uh, dynamic models of the antennas and the environment, the wind, and we need for all that control systems for tracking, for cueing and information processing. So the signals here are the positions of the antennas, the uh, speed of the wind, the uh, flow of information. Uh, there are many, many signals that we have seen. If we consider now the exploitation of the water resources, we can build up channels, uh, measurement devices, uh, dams, and we are trying to uh, control, to exploit the resources. And we have uh, valves to open the channels or close the channels. We have uh, sensors to detect uh, the height of the water and so on. And we need also to uh, know about the needs for the using of the uh, water. So for an appropriate use of water, uh, we need information about its uh, availability, where is the water and uh, how much, uh, to establish uh, priorities uh, in its use and to build up infrastructures to handle. And then, uh, ab other than that, we also need real-time measurements of flows and storages. We also need the forecast of the consumption, access to the information at the right time and place, and to know how this system is behaving, the behavioral models. And more than that, over that, we need a, a system to make decisions, optimal decisions, about in which way we are going to use the water. So what is common, common in any system? We have the system represented here by a block, and then we have uh, signals. These signals can be inputting or uh, coming from the system, and what is fundamental is the concept of feedback. Feedback are signals coming from the system providing us information about how the system is and these uh, feedback signals will be used to create, to generate the inputs. What have we seen today? Well, we have seen artificial systems and in particular uh, how we can find them and study. Uh, we have seen just a few examples and which are the attached variables. The next will be uh, the signals and the feedback, and this will be the topic of the next uh, session. Thanks.